hey ladies we're back with another nail video let's jump right into it so of course these are my dynamic nail supply tips i did get it from my local nail supply store here in houston they do have an online website i will link down below i believe i forgot to put it in the last video i gotta go back and fix that so of course i went ahead and did the pop-off method um i have cut the nails down to my liking and i am now shaping them y'all know what i say each and every time so i don't think i need to repeat myself when it comes down to the shaping you can use a hand file i prefer to use a drill i can use both but you know for time purposes i like to go ahead and just knock it out and make sure that that um shape is as sharp as possible with my e-file and then i go back just to hit it one more time with the hand file now usually when i do it with the hand file i can get it together in one hit but y'all know i'm trying to save my arm strength so you know i just hit the hot spots get it lined up and then come on and edge it on up with the hand file like a haircut and boom so go ahead and file your nails to your liking your desired shape make sure you are turning your hands around so you can see different angles of the shape and that they're not crooked here is a nude acrylic that i'm using i got that from my local beauty store as well and we're just going to apply the nude on all the nails on the full nail now if you can see with my applying acrylic i am adding my beads i don't have a specific amount of beads however many i need to cover it i cover it um I gently got it down the nail um, some people say don't drag it I'm not really draggling I'm dragging it what is drag draggling what is that I'm not really dragging it I'm kind of just lightly punching the sides to manipulate the acrylic to get it where I want it to be and that is a good way for you to save your acrylic so just go ahead and apply the nude acrylic or whatever your desired color is on the full nail and you're gonna do that for all the nails Okay, now that we got our acrylic laid, we're going to go ahead and start to foul. Again, it is your preference. You can use the e foul or you can use a hand foul. Whichever way is the fastest for you that's going to save you time and help reserve your strength, then do that. As for me at my house, <laughs> we're going to use the drill, sis. So, I'm just going to foul that uh, acrylic down, smooth it out reshape the nails to make sure that it is as sharp as possible before we are going to apply the nail polish now sis make sure that you file it real good okay because if you don't file good and you have a lumps and humps and lovely lady bumps in your nails whenever you apply the acrylic um not the acrylic girl the um fingernail polish or the gel polish you will see it so make sure that your surface is as smooth as possible so your designs can come out nice. Let me also mention that the e-file does not always save you with the smoothing out of the nails, okay? It does get the job done. It does do majority of the job. But 
there is times that you may have lines or something like that is still in the nail that you might need to go back and actually use the hand file so that's what i did here and that is my finishing look for my nails now i'm going to go ahead and use these gel polishes um that white is a white color so as you can see on my stone i use a red a pink a nudish with kind of color with like a pink undertone to it and then um a white so now for the design y'all see i left this in here because it's a hot mess but um i wanted you to see what my first idea was and how i was going to do the ombre the vertical ombre versus like no sis I changed it up and did a different process so um, as you can see I put a little bit of red on one side I put a little white in the middle and I put the um, kind of coral color on the left and try to fan it out it ain't working it ain't working um, you have to be very very careful when it comes down to the gel polish because of course the gel polish is going to be like that until it's cured um, it, it's gonna work a little different with regular polish it might the regular polish might dry up or start to dry to where it'll help you fan it out better but mm -mm. make sure you also use a thin layer of gel polish each time that you're using it so as you can see I'm still trying to work it girl being hard-headed trying to rig it up make it a little bootleg make it a little non-noticeable cleaning it up um, but eventually after so much time it started to pull together i don't want y'all to do that process because it takes too long so that is essentially how we want it to look but we need a different route so let's do this go ahead and use the two main polishes that you want on the french tip you're going to make your regular smile line but you're going to do half and half so see i did one side was like that coral peach color nude or whatever color it is and then the other side is going to be red so one side one color the other side the other color make sure that your smile line is as good as it's gonna get and then you want to add a transition color in my case i just added like that little pink that's over there and then i fan it out and then clean it up and it saved me so much time like if I if you see me going back it's just because I'm being picky and messing it up girl because I should have just left it alone and then I got to go back and fix it but as you can see I'm just you know making sure it's as clean as possible and cleaning up any mistakes or errors or any um, loose gel that's getting away now, also, one thing I want to know is make sure that you wipe the sides. Y'all told me up uh, the last video because I didn't wipe the sides, child. And that's something that I know I should have done and remember to do. Because it reserves, it preserves, not reserves, it preserves your shaping. So, yeah, whenever you're using that gel, you know it can kind of get glunky. You know it can get bulky if you're using too much of it. Just make sure you're wiping the sides of the nails. Um, and the bottom of the nails as well whenever you're using it so you can maintain your shape so I'm just gonna do the same process so child let me be quiet because it's the same thing just watch and see and I'll be back Talk about anything, girl, let's talk about us. Otherwise, I wanna fall in love. Oh, also, one thing I wanted to say, whenever that you are doing these designs, I feel like it's probably gonna be easier for you to 
cure each nail at a time. The reason why I say that is because y'all know that the gel polish is not going to start drying. It has to be cured. It is not real regular uh, nail polish. So in this sense, it made me keep having to go back and straighten up the gel polish because it kept bleeding into the nail. Of course, because I was moving my, my nails as I was, you know, um, doing the designs on the different fingers. So just take the time um and cure your nails one at a time and that to me would have saved me a little bit more time than having to go back in the end and refix them so uh, once you cure them for 60 seconds you're going to add a clear gel top coat make sure you wipe the sides y'all see me wiping the sides of these nails because y'all not gonna get me today but yeah uh, go ahead and put your clear polish on so it can shine bright like a diamond. Look at it. It's so cute. Look at that transitional color. Look at that vertical ombre. Yes, ma'am. I'm doing a little TikTok. Follow me on TikTok at The Dip Life. Now, after you cure that gel top coat, we're going to go in with a daughter. I got these from Amazon. Everything that I'm using that I can find the link to, I will make sure I put it down below. Um, and so you're going to just use your daughter and it's still your preference. Some people like a lot of dots. I wanted to keep it simple and clean because I didn't want to take away from the vertical ombre as well. You need to see that work, sis. You need to see that piece of art. So we're just going to add a couple of uh, dots going up. You can get it going up all the way. You could kind of cascade it or you can make sure that it stops right at the tip. So me, I'm just doing sporadic, no, no uh, pattern, honestly, just whatever look good. I just knew what colors that I wanted to use. So keep it simple, sis, especially if you're doing the ombre. You want people to see the ombre. So yeah, let them see all that glory and all that work you put in. Boom. Nice. Ain't that pretty, y'all? So yeah, y'all, that is the finishing touches and the finishing look. If y'all enjoyed this tutorial and this video, please give me a thumbs up, like, comment, share. Request the next look or the next color that you would like for me to do, and I will make sure that I get it up as soon as possible. Turn on the notification button so you're aware of the next videos that are coming. I'm supposed to, I'm trying to upload them every single day. And y'all know I had to show y'all where I popped these off, but okay, girl, I gotta go. I'm running out of time. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.